Can a weight loss shot really help with swelling from lymphedema or is it just wishful thinking? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist that specializes in lymphatic health as well as in oncology. In this video, we're diving into a really hot topic that a lot of you have been asking about, GLP-1 medications like Ozempic and whether they actually help with lymphedema. So I've been getting so many questions lately from individuals who've heard that GLP-1 medications are helping others with lymphedema, lipedema, or swelling. So naturally the question is, why would that be and could it help me too? So here's what we know at the time that I am recording this. Obesity increases someone's risk for lymphedema or worsening with lipedema or swelling. So people who have a higher BMI are at a greater risk for developing lymphedema, especially after a surgery like lymph node removal for cancer. And on the flip side, weight loss lowers someone's risk. So by lowering someone's BMI through weight loss, this has been shown to help reduce the risk of developing lymphedema in those same situations. So it does make sense that GLP-1s, which often lead to significant weight loss, could potentially lower that risk for some people. But once lymphedema is present, someone has lymphedema, it is a little bit different here. And that's where things can get more complicated and where patient experiences and research really don't always line up. So what happens if you already have lymphedema? The research tells us that weight loss, yes, can reduce the overall limb volume, meaning the arm or the leg may look and measure smaller. Now, I see this all the time in my clinic. If a patient comes in to me and they have told me that they have lost 10 to 20 pounds from eating healthy, exercising, or a different lifestyle, then their arm or leg measurements are going to be significantly smaller. I expect that to happen. And their garments that they may be having may feel loose and they don't feel like they're working as well, which is a lot of times why they're coming back to me. But also with that, if someone has come into me in the clinic and they have gained that same amount of weight, 10 pounds, 20, or definitely even more, I expect the opposite. I expect that their limb sizes and their measurements will go up. But the lymphatic drainage really does remain the same in these situations. So if swelling is due to lymph node removal, radiation, or something someone was just born with, then losing weight may make the limb smaller overall, like the leg size smaller overall, but it doesn't necessarily fix the underlying lymphatic problem. Now, another piece of the puzzle is obesity-induced lymphedema, which means someone has lymphedema that was caused by severe morbid obesity. If they do GLP-1 medications, does that reverse lymphedema in that situation? And it's true that many times obesity-induced lymphedema does not fully reverse. So studies show that even if someone loses a large amount of weight after having severe morbid obesity, the lymphatic system may already be damaged and the swelling can continue to persist long-term even if the weight was lost. So timing really does matter. If weight loss happens before that damage has been done, the outlook is better, yes, to potentially get rid of lymphedema and swelling. So again, to summarize in the big picture, when it comes to losing weight from either just healthy lifestyle or GLP-1 medications, patients may often feel and look better with that weight loss, have lower limb size, their legs are smaller, their arms are smaller, but that doesn't necessarily mean that their lymphedema or their lipedema is cured. But even though there's not a cure with this situation, I still see the benefit that weight loss brings to one's overall health. So if it's done for the right reasons, that weight loss typically allows patients to move around better, which then allows them to stay more active and that can help support and improve the lymphatic system and help reduce swelling and lymphedema. It's also worth mentioning lipedema specifically. So lipedema is different than lymphedema. It mainly affects fatty tissues rather than lymph vessels. 
fat cells in lipedema can grow abnormally, causing these painful, disproportionate swelling in the legs or in the arms. Lymphedema is about fluid buildup. So while lipedema is about changes in fat tissue. Now there isn't strong research yet on GLP-1s and lipedema specifically. There are a few case reports and opinion pieces suggesting that they might help by reducing weight, inflammation, and improve metabolism. But so far there's no strong trial evidence showing changes in lipedema fat tissue itself with GLP-1s. So this is, yes, another area to watch closely for, but it's too early to confirm. Another point to consider is that GLP-1s can increase salt and water excretion. So that might help reduce puffiness or general swelling for someone, but that is different from true lymphedema because the lymphatic system moves protein-rich fluid, which behaves differently from everyday swelling. There are also some case reports of patients with obesity-related lymphedema who noticed improvements after major weight loss with GLP-1s. And there's even a prospective study underway right now looking specifically at GLP-1s and lymphedema outcomes. But again, as of today, we don't have strong peer-reviewed evidence saying that these medications directly improve lymphatic health. So that's why we need to keep watching this area closely. From my perspective and based on the research so far, my best guess is that the improvements people are seeing and talking about are due to the overall weight loss and fluid shifts, not because GLP-1s are directly or curing the damaged lymphatic system. Still, those improvements in comfort, health, and volume are meaningful and worth paying attention to as researchers learn more about the short-term and also the long-term side effects of these drugs. So where does this leave us? Right now, GLP-1s may help indirectly by reducing weight and limb volume, and that can make a big difference in comfort and function, but there is no evidence yet that they directly heal or repair lymphatic systems. The good news is that research is underway and will keep you updated as I learn more. So in the meantime, focus on what we do know helps, compression, movement, skin care, and gentle lymphatic drainage. And if you are considering GLP-1s, make sure that you are talking to your healthcare team. Now, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Let's have a conversation about that. If you have had weight loss just from healthy lifestyle changes or due to GLP-1s, has your symptoms changed? Has your volume changed? Has your swelling changed? Be sure to comment that down below and just share your experience with others. Other than that, I hope this video was helpful. Start to answer some of the questions that are starting to come up. Again, there's a lot more that we need to learn. I hope you all found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone.